Good morning. Good morning. So we are in the lovely Richmond, Virginia today. It's actually a really beautiful sunny day. Yeah, because it's lovely today. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad about a little bit chilly, but oh yeah, at least it's nice and dry and sunny. So Richmond is the capital city of the state of Virginia. And we're just going to go around and explore, wing it a little bit. And then we've also got a few things that we've written down to kind of go and explore but other than that we're just kind of going to stroll around at our own leisure and see where we end up yeah uh well this morning we just done about a hundred mile drive we stopped last night in stanton somebody said it was stanton it looks to me like it's pronounced staunton it's got a u in that to me says staunton <laughs> but yeah it was a lovely hotel that we stopped in last night um i'll put a few pictures over just because it was so quirky it was called the blackburn inn and it was a former hospital i think it was built in the 1800s i remember you saying 1800s but yeah yeah, it was a former hospital and it was just so, it was such a cool building and i would have loved to maybe do like a tour of it or something if it was it looked like the one kind of place there. you could do like ghost tours or something i just would love to know the history about it it was the type of hotel that you'd brush your teeth in the morning look up and there was somebody behind in the mirror yeah. that didn't happen um, but yeah it was a gorgeous hotel on I mean, gorgeous grounds it was crazy because on this little road trip that was the cheapest hotel yet it was the nicest poshest hotel like all the other ones were stopping in like best westerns and stuff like that that was like a, oh what was the it was part of the american historic hotel association or something Buildings like that or something, something like that i'll put the picture i've got a yeah. clip of it now what it was so yeah it was really cool it's part of something but yeah it was really quirky but yeah we're looking forward to experiencing richmond yeah. So we're going to start off now in Maymont. This is a hundred acre estate and park. So it's like a bit, it looks like there's a big mansion on here. It says mansion on the map anyway, but there's all cool stuff too. There's uh, animals that you can feed. They've got bison. Uh, oh, they've got black bears. Stace, we're going to be spending a lot of time in here. Can I feed the bears? So we just Googled a little bit about what this place actually was with it saying like a mansion. So it was owned by James Dooley and his wife, Sally May. So James Dooley was from, from Richmond. I think he was someone, uh, was he a lawyer or something like that? I'm, I'm just, guessing he had I'm some money seeing, for a He mansion. had some money to be yeah, for a mansion anyway. And his wife, Sally May was from the place that we just said we stayed at. Staunton, we, Stanton. Staunton, Stanton, yeah. So she was from there. So that's where we stayed last night. So we're just in the farm area now. There's like goats you can feed and other little animals. There's a token machine that isn't working. So they've got some like of them little gumball machines filled with food, but you need two quarters. And I've only got one because I used them all just on the way at a 7-Eleven for by a big gulp. I feel really guilty now. So they've got like loads of different animals you can feed. At the moment you can't feed the two alpacas because they've just moved into their new little home. I think Stacey wants to take one home. <laughs> they are very cute, but I don't think I've been able to take one on the plane. No, but there is loads of different animals. There's like goats, horses, cows, I think you said, pigs all down the place. Ooh, I'd like go see the horses. No, I've got nothing. I'm sorry. It's Kev's fault. He didn't get the other quarter. Whoa, did you? whoa, whoa. Don't blame me. Oh, I didn't no, realise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we were just walking through the gardens and there's a wild deer. This isn't behind the fence like the other deers. Stacey's just pointed it out. She was like, is that behind the fence? I'm like, oh no, it's not. So uh, there's actual wild, wild deer just roaming the gardens. So this section now is Raptor Valley. So all the birds that we're gonna show you, it's just said on the sign. They are, they are all rescue birds, so they've been injured somehow in the wild and then they, they can't fly again, or I guess fend for themselves out there. So we've obviously rescued them and we'll show you the different kinds that we've got now. Behind me is just a, spotted a little owl, in, an owl in the tree. This is a barred so owl. Just there. So, yeah, it's just exactly there. up there. He's just been looking because he thinks the, I'm not sure if he thinks the microphone on top of the camera is maybe a little bird or something. Because he's mouse. very, uh, <laughs> seems very looking and very interested in it. So we've got two bald eagles here. Now these haven't got the netting over the top of their enclosure like the other ones did. So 
these two sadly can't fly anymore so that's why they must be in here we have seen these in the wild we saw them in vancouver and we also saw a few of them in alaska when we were there but look at them we're gonna say they're being nice and having a kiss there not pecking at each other shall we say so we're at the black bear enclosure now we can see one he's just up there you can see that black very little thing oh, i say little it says they were about 500 pounds but we can only see one i don't know if they might be hibernating because it is you know still winter time kind of hibernation period so he might not be on his own but he might be but they've got a fair amount of space oh he's looking now there he is i'm going on back to bed country So we're just in the Japanese garden now, and I don't know about Japanese garden, but to me this looks more like the Shire from Lord of the Rings. Just these little mounds and these little bridges. I can imagine Frodo and Samwise frolicking through here and Bilbo shouting at him. So it's feeling a little bit more Japanesey on this side. There's a beautiful cherry blossom tree the other side and the it's just started to come in so you can slightly see the pink on there that looks i'm guessing it looks really nice around here when they're all like fully bloomed <laughs> yeah yeah it looks really nice but there's these uh stepping stones so you can, you don't have to take these you could literally just come back on yourself and walk along the path but where's the fun in that we're risk takers yeah oh <laughs> stacy's making out like we're jumping out of a uh an airplane without a parachute or something like that <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to see which one of us possibly falls in. So we're up at the mansion now. So this is where the owners did live. You can do tours of this, but sadly uh, they aren't open at the moment. I think late 2024 they'll be reopened because they're having the roof done. But uh, Stacy's just over there behind that little bush, being nosy in the sally. I hope somebody jumps up and scares her. So we're just back at the car now. There is a couple of th little things that we didn't have a chance to do because uh, we haven't really got the time. So we are going to go somewhere else. Don't know where. It might be food. It might be somewhere else. I don't know. So we just drove like into kind of the city part of Richmond compared to where we were at Maymont. We wasted a little bit of time trying to find some peanut pie, trying to find some food. Yeah, because you said Virginia were like famous for the, they've got these big peanuts or something. Well, their Googled. peanuts are bigger and better. Yes, that's what I, I read like anyway. But There's only a peanut butter one. Yeah, so I wasn't really too bothered about peanut butter. No. I can have peanut butter pie anywhere. So we just, yeah, we just, just come down to the canal walk. I think it's 1.25 miles long. We were just debating which way to go. Yeah. Because I think we've come kind of in the middle from where we've parked. We don't know what there is here really, but he just said on the things to do when we Googled it, he said to walk the canal walk. So yeah, well, whether we'll go down all of it, I don't know. We'll just go and see what there is. Yeah, we're just mooching about really. Right, so I don't know if we've gone the wrong way, but there isn't much up this end. If there is any kind of bar, looking kind of places they all seem closed so we so, started walking up to brown's island which was is that way i said let's go that way stacy said that way so this is stacy's <laughs> fault i said let's go the other way because like i say we haven't really seen anything yeah i think that was us probably being a bit we just automatically automatically assumed we'd done the san antonio river walk and so we were expecting to get on and it was yeah. like that so that's maybe bad research for us and we just saw the canal walk and thought too i'm guessing the area has perhaps maybe got a lot of history if you are from round here um but obviously we aren't sure about that i think you can actually have a boat ride along the canal at some point yeah, but obviously that's in the summer months if i wanted to walk along the canal i could have stayed in stoke we've got loads of canals in stoke
Right, so we're going to abandon the canal walk. Uh, we're a little bit pushed for time and we want to go to the Virginia State Capitol building. Like Stacey said before, it's not what we thought it was going to be. You can't, like I said, you can't get a boat down here, but I don't know what they'd show you. If we're missing something, leave it in the comments because we're really puzzled as to what we're meant to be seeing. So in our last video when we visited Washington DC, you would have seen that we visited the US State Building, the US State Capitol. So behind now is the Virginia State Capitol building. So the Virginia State Capitol is the seat of state government of the Commonwealth of Virginia. I'm reading all this off Wikipedia <laughs> by the way. So it houses the oldest elected legislative Stacey legislative. Keep, Stacey keeps telling me I'm saying that wrong. Is it legislative? I say legislative. Legislative? One of those two. I don't know. <laughs> Might both be wrong. <laughs> yeah, body in North America. The Virginia General Assembly, which was first established as the House of Burgess in 1619. Wow, I mean, it's a really gorgeous building. I think you can take guided tours in there. Yes. I mean, obviously, I'm guessing there's more information about that on the website, but if you're you know, really interested in the history of it, you could go and take one of the guided tours. And then something else is, it was conceived by Thomas Jefferson okay. and a French person, who I can't pronounce, in France. So it was completed in 1788. I believe they added the two wings onto it after that, and there has been rebuilds uh, due to fires and stuff like that as well. Oh, right, okay. So this isn't completely the original building from 1788. So just as we're heading back to the car now, uh, we just thought we'd show you, I don't think it's the best spot, but it's the easiest spot for us to show you. This is the James River. It's a very fast flowing river because you can hear it. We could hear it in the Maymont, the park we went into as well earlier. You can go kayaking and stuff down it. I personally wouldn't like to do that because it looks very quick. And also I did see a sign that during the spring and the autumn, they do have sturgeon in there. So. If you want to go caviar hunting, maybe that's a good place for come fishing. I've just googled how long it is. So it's 100 miles in there and flows 348 miles. Wow. 560 kilometers. That's a big one. Yeah, to the Chesapeake Peaky Bay. Chesapeake Peaky Bay? Chesapeake Summit Bay. That's long. Yeah, that's a big old river. And another fact we were shocked about is it, the James River is one of the longest rivers in America that begins and ends in the same state. So yeah, wow, it even, doesn't even leave Virginia. Right, so we're just back at the car now. We are not having a lot of luck, in the videos that is, with these Starbucks mugs. <laughs> We've just been to a few, they've got none. So we're going to have to go for a little drive to get one. Yeah, because obviously we couldn't get one in Washington DC either, so nope. we're gonna have to try and get that one off eBay. But the, you know, ironic thing is driving through Virginia and when we stopped in the hotel yesterday, any Starbucks like on the way to there that we went in. The ones in supermarkets. We, we had the cups and we thought, no, we won't get it now. We'll save it for when we do the Richmond, Virginia video. This and video. then we can add it into that and show, oh, you know, we've got the Starbucks cups and our luck, yeah. We uh, haven't got managed them. to get one, no. but we're going to go for something to eat. I think we decided on somewhere, just a little popular chain that yeah. we like. So we thought we'll go to there because we couldn't find any places that did the scone on the ham the biscuits. scone. The biscuit. Oh, yeah, we yeah. call them scones, sorry, biscuits. Yeah, because Virginia is apparently scone. known for some ham. I thought, well, I can't get a peanut, so let's try this ham biscuit. Can't get that either, so. Yeah, so a few places did, like we said, the peanut butter, but we wanted the actual whole peanuts. Yeah, it looked yeah. like a pecan pie, but with peanuts instead <laughs> of pecans. So we decided on a chain that we're gonna try, and then it's near to a Starbucks. Is it on There's a retail two. park? Well, it's on one of these retail uh, parks with all the shops and fast food chains on there. So yeah, we'll, is it kill two birds with one stone? Yeah. We'll, yeah, there we go. That's the one. <laughs> Right, okay, so we went in Starbucks and we got the mug. So they had one left. There was a display of cups and I looked and I thought, oh no, they haven't got it. And I thought, I'll just look around the back of it. And there it was. So yeah, one left. So we've managed to get one now. We were going to go Sonic. Yeah. Stacey changed her mind. We were driving past and saw a queue for Chick-fil-A. And we've had one, one before. It was, always remember, it was in New York and we ate it on the roof of our hotel. Yes. And we had amazing views of the Empire State Building. So now we associate Chick-fil-A with amazing views of the yeah. Empire State Building. But I'm associating <laughs> Chick-fil-A with... <laughs> A bit messy. I don't remember it being that messy. But I, I do remember the waffle fries. Waffle fries. <laughs> Look at these. Who doesn't love waffle fries? 
So I'd, yeah, that's why I mentioned before when I said about going to chain where the milkshakes are nice because we do like a Sonic milkshake. Yes. So I think we're going to eat this. I think we're still going to go get that Sonic milkshake. Yeah, home. I haven't why had not? a milkshake. I've had some. We've had nothing to eat all day, so we've earned this. Ooh, ooh, that's very nice. Some <laughs> new mango peach frosty thing. Ooh, gotta add that now. But yeah, let's go and eat this. What a nice day in Richmond. Yeah, it's I mean. It's our plan to visit all 50 states, not on this trip, of course, but before we die, at least, we would like to, I'd love to say we could, yeah, visit all the, all 50 states, yeah. so that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, so touch wood, so. We've made a dent in it anyway, we've now gone to Virginia, yeah. so that's a new state to us. Exactly, so tomorrow's video will be somewhere in North Carolina. Ah, oh, yes. So if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe. And all so the you usual. said somewhere because we've got to go back to the hotel tonight and Google all this stuff. We don't know where we are for all of it, but we've got uh, a rough plan. We're in the US. That's all we're bothered about. Uh, hotels are booked, and where are we going between <laughs> a mystery? So uh, yeah, before this goes freezing cold, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.